with us. Uh, let me explain about poetry on a picket line. Uh, we do what it says on the tin. Uh, we're poets and we stand on picket lines and read poetry. If you've ever stood on a picket line, they can be quite dull and even poetry, even my poetry can be a little bit more exciting than standing on picket lines. Uh, but because that is slightly unusual, people uh, take photographs and little videos and that sort of stuff and put it on social media, uh, which helps uh, raise the profile of the disputes, it helps raise the profile of the poetry work as well. So what we do is we bring poetry uh, into the voice of politics and politics into the voice of poetry, uh, and those things need each other, don't they? Yeah. Yes. More poetry in politics? Yes. Yeah. More politics in poetry? Yeah. Yes. The other thing that we do every now and again is we raise a bit of money for strike funds. So last year we gave away over a thousand pounds to various strike funds. The Ritzy Strikers, you know that the Ritzy Strikers at the Ritzy Cinemas, Picture House Cinemas are on strike this week. Boycott Picture House Cinemas. So we work with, other, with particularly with cleaners in the educational institutions. So we've done a lot of stuff there and it's always a great pleasure and a great privilege to work in solidarity with striking workers. So having said all that, I'm just going to give you one poem because you're probably poetry phobic. Uh, this poem's called Ice Age and it refers back to when the entire continent of Europe was covered in one gigantic glacier and there were no borders. As if cutting off your nose to spite your face was successful cosmetic surgery, the British people have spoken. Democracy, inaction, the body politics broken. Bullshit, bluster and downright lies. It's no surprise that the disenfranchised stick two fingers up to the establishment. Who knows what they meant? Who ruined race relations? Who blamed immigration? Who supped with the devil they knew was in the detail? It's an epic fail to recognise whose dick it is in your ass. When it's the ruling class. The whole damn thing was a farce. Listen, let me articulate this clearly. Understand I mean it most sincerely. I don't want to take my country back. I want to take it forward. Solidarity, comrades. Yeah. Whoa. Thank you for that.